Today, I would like to introduce OMAC Tensioner F120.30. This machine allows you to string one conductor or cable in overhead transmission line projects. As it's equipped with an engine, the machine can also perform pullback of conductor or cable. This machine has a max string force of uh, 30 kN and has a max speed of five kilometers per hour. But let's take a closer view of the machine. Let's start from the outside of the machine. As you can see, the machine is fully covered with metal carters that protect operator and the machine itself. On both sides, here on the capstan side and here on the engine side. OMAC has always supplied full covers on all its machines. As you can see, these are the lifting points of the machine used to unload and position the machine on the site. It's at the center of the machine in order to keep the balance. This is the drawbar, adjustable in height. It's used to tow the machine in the job site at low speed. The machine is also fitted with an anchoring plow used to anchor and stabilize the front part of the machine. The machine is fitted with two stabilizing legs, adjustable in height. And here you have anchoring points used to secure the machine during the stringing operation. Here we have the control panel, the core of the machine. Let's check it closely. The ignition of the engine the throttle to increase or decrease the RPM. The joystick to control the direction of movement. The potentiometer to increase or decrease the string and force. Emergency button used in order to stop the machine in case of emergency. Here we have the bypass. This allows you to exclude the electronic instrument in case of failure. And this is OMAC Digital Display DEG 4.0. This is the latest development of OMAC Digital Recorders. OMAC has always fitted their machines with electronic instruments as a standard. This digital display features a seven inch touchscreen color display, which is used to display, record, and also print out the working parameters, including speed, force, meters, and also hours. Thanks to the DG, you can also set up the max tension force in order not to exceed the preset value. After the job, you can also download data on a USB key and print data in the office in a second time, or you can also plug in a printer and print out data on site. This tensioner is fitted with two bull wheels or capstans. They are 1,400 mm in diameter bottom groove. They are made from steel material, but lined with nylon. There are nylon sector recovering the bull wheels and they are interchangeable. As you can see, here you have six grooves for one conductor. The two bull wheels are synchronized mechanically, meaning 100% synchronized, through a central gear. This is the conductor clamp in mechanical version. This device is used for safety during the conductor change operations on the drum stand. The metal cover of this tensioner is equipped with inspection doors. Let's take a look inside. The machine is equipped with a diesel engine. It's water-cooled, has a power of 26 kilowatt or 35 horsepower, 
and as electric starting. And here we have the heat exchanger, used to cool down the oil in the hydraulic system. Here we have the main hydraulic circuit of the tensioner. The main components of this hydraulic circuit include the pump, the hydraulic motor and the gearbox. The gearbox is directly connected to the gear that synchronizes the two bull wheels. Let me talk now about a very special device that is available on all OMAC machines as a standard, the electronic load cell. This device allows you to have a very accurate reading of the string and force, not affected by temperature and speed. What is also very important is that this device is maintenance free. Thank you so much for your kind attention. For further information, visit our website or contact us directly.